Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillahirabbil alamin wassalatu wassalamu ala asyrafil anbiya wal mursalin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Amma ba'd. Insyaallah today I will present uh, a paper on the compliance behavior of in of uh, bank islamic banking products and services um, this paper is written by siti nadliza ali imran uh, myself dr yusuf haji osman associate professor dr wan nazmi muhammad fisal and Associate Professor Dr. Muhammad Saleh Sheikh Yusuf. This paper is about determinants of compliance behavior of using Islamic banking products. And uh, in this study, we focus on three uh, significant uh, determinants which are religiosity, knowledge, and service quality. So this paper is entitled The Effects of Religiosity, Knowledge, and Service Quality Towards Compliance Behavior of Islamic Banking Products and Services. As uh, an introduction, uh, by the end of uh, 2000, the total deposit at conventional banks was RM381 billion ringgit, which represents more than 92% of the total deposit. And uh, if the and uh, the total deposit in uh, Islamic bank by the end of 2000 was only 31 billion ringgit, which uh, represents about eight percent. So this indicates that the uh, usage or the patronage of Islamic banking is still low in Malaysia. Although the Muslim population comprises more than 50% of the total population. And uh, at the same time, the customers who were involved with uh, loans or financing from conventional banks were up to 416 billion ringgit and um, the financing uh, given by Islamic banks was only 21 billion ringgit. So this two scenarios indicate that the compliance behavior of Islamic banking is still low. Although uh, Islamic banking uh, is uh, not limited to Muslims customers only. Uh, so Islamic banking is open to all, to Muslim and non-Muslim customers. Yet, uh, among this this um, scenarios indicate that even among the Muslim customers in Malaysia, the usage of Islamic banking is still low, and uh, this shows non-compliance because. Um, in the Quran, it is very clear that 
riba is haram. Allah mentions in the Quran, "A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytanir rajim." Wa ahalla Allahu al-bay'a wa harrama riba. And Allah has permitted sale and prohibit riba. So despite the uh, obligation to use Islamic banking when dealing with banking system, uh, we have found that the compliance is still very low. So this study attempts to examine uh, what are the factors which influence the usage of Islamic banking products by examining three variables, religiosity, knowledge towards Islamic banking and service quality as the determinants of compliance behavior towards Islamic banking product among, among the customers of Islamic banking in the state of Penang. Uh, for the literature review, there are limited studies on um, uh, the effects of religiosity on, on banking. Blue and Cohen, 2004, revealed that religious belief is the main indicator in preference toward using Islamic banking products. Idris et al. 2011 indicated that religion seems to be the most important factor that influences customers to patronize Islamic banks. And uh, Muslim customers in Singapore chose Islamic banking because of the religiosity factor, according to Jared and Cunningham. 1997. And uh, we did some um, review on the previous studies on uh, knowledge. Sa'in Akbar et al. 2012 shows that there was a significant relationship between the uh, knowledge of Muslims towards the understanding of Islamic banking concepts such as uh, riba or usury. And uh, Osman and Ali 2008 have indicated that knowledge towards Islamic financing is consider considerably well among Muslim entrepreneurs. And the Muslim entrepreneurs can understand the importance of practicing and uh, applying and uh, using Islamic financing in their businesses. Blue and Quinn 2004 found that Muslim students are more interested and knowledgeable in Islamic finance compared to non-Muslim students. Similarly, Ahmad and Harun 2012 revealed that the knowledge of Islamic banking among non-Muslim corporate customers in Malaysia was still limited, which uh, explains why the uh, patronage of Islamic banking is still low among non-Muslim customers, among non-Muslims. And there are limited studies on uh, service quality. And uh, 
<coughs> according to Umash B. Yamirudin 2013, uh, there is a significant effect of a service quality on uh, confidence to use uh, uh, the product of bank. This is supported by Errol and Al Badur, 1989, Errol et al, 1990, Harun et al, 1994, Kadir, 1993, Kadir, 1995, Jared and Cunningham, 1997, Nasser et al, 1999, Othman and Owen, 2002, Ahmad and Harun, 2002, Abbas et al, 2003, Yusuki and Abdullah, 2007, Haq et al, 2009, Wan Marhani et al, 2008, Rashid and Hassan, 2009, Gate and Wash, Worthington 2008, and Awan and Bukhari 2011, which provided evidence that there was a positive and significant influence of service quality on confidence in the context of Islamic banking and services. Research design, this study employed two methods of data collection. One is using survey, specifically using questionnaires that were distributed. Uh, and the questionnaires Uh, were distributed to respondents in the state of Penang. And we also did uh, interviews with customers of Islamic banks uh, in Penang. The objective of the interview is to obtain uh, more uh, in-depth information uh, on the uh, determinants of compliance behavior and um, we we used uh, uh, interviews uh, which are more open and um, we asked the um, the respondents on, on the reasons why they uh, patronage the Islamic banks. And um, the interview was uh, done primarily to complement the data that we collected using questionnaires. Hopefully, we were expecting that uh, the interview could give us a more in-depth information on the factors why they choose Islamic banking products. And uh, this study is a field survey by nature. And the questionnaires were hand-delivered to respondents and it was distributed and collected by the researchers. This is the theoretical framework of the study. There are three independent variables, Islamic religiosity, knowledge, and service quality. And the dependent variable is compliance behavior of using Islamic banking and finance product. The data was analyzed and we simply present here 
uh, the, that's uh, the finding based on the multiple regression analysis. And um, there are three uh, independent variables here. TIR represents Islamic religiosity. T knowledge is the knowledge about Islamic banking. And CSQ is the service quality provided by the Islamic bank. In, uh, the perception towards uh, service quality uh, by customers using the Islamic bank. And from this um, multiple regression analysis, we revealed that Islamic religiosity is not a significant determinant of compliance behavior of using Islamic banking products because the P value is uh, greater than <clears throat> 0 0.05. And uh, the two other variables, knowledge and uh, service quality, are found to be significant because the P value is less than 0 0.05. So we can conclude from, from this um, uh, regression analysis that uh, knowledge about Islamic banking and service quality are significant determinants of compliance behavior of using Islamic banking products while Islamic religiosity is not a significant determinant. So religiosity does not have a significant influence on compliance behavior of Islamic banking products because P value is greater than 0 0.05. Um, which indicates that uh, religiosity is not directly involved in the selection criteria to use Islamic bank. So customers that are uh, highly religious does not have, does not necessarily choose Islamic bank. Conversely, the customers who are not religious are not less likely to choose Islamic bank. In other words, religiosity doesn't play a significant role in uh, choosing Islamic bank. According to Harun et al. 1994, religiosity beliefs are not the reason to select an Islamic bank. And the finding of this study supports Al Ajmi et al. 2009, who found that religiosity is, is not a significant factor when it comes to Islamic banking selection. The findings of the study also indicates that there is a significant and positive relationship between knowledge and uh, compliance behavior of adopting Islamic banking products because the P value in the regression analysis is uh, less than Zero point zero five. So knowledge is significant. So this finding is similar to Ahmad in Harun 2012 that provided evidence on the uh, positive relationship between knowledge and selection 
criteria of Islamic banking. Moreover, the results of this study indicates that knowledge provides a positive and um, significant effect on compliance behavior of Islamic banking products, which means that the increase in the knowledge will increase the level of compliance behavior of Islamic banking products. And the findings of the study also indicate that there is a positive and um, significant re relationship between service quality and compliance behavior of Islam Islamic banking products uh, because the p-value is less than 0 0.05. And uh, the beta is the second highest value of beta in the model which indicates that the variable has the strongest influence on compliance behavior of Islamic, bank, Islamic banking products. Furthermore, this study has supported the study of Awan and Bukhari et al. 2011 and Abbas et al. 2003. Uh, their findings indicated that service quality was a significant factor when it comes to determining customer selection of Islamic banking product. So in conclusion, this study attempts to examine uh, the influence of three variables, religiosity, knowledge, and service quality of compliance behavior of using Islamic banking products among customers of Islamic banking in the state of Penang. And this study reveals that knowledge and service quality have significant influence on the compliance behavior of using Islamic banking products. So knowledge and service quality are significant variables influencing the compliance behavior of using Islamic banking products. On the, on the other hand, this study finds that religiosity does not have a significant influence on the compliance behavior of selection of Islamic banking products. In other words, um, there is no, uh, this study indicates that um, religiosity uh, does not have a significant uh, influence on whether the customers choose Islamic banking products or not. So the findings of this study have certain important implications for the theory as well as policy. It is hoped that this study would be beneficial to all relevant parties including the Islamic banking industry participants and uh, academic research. Thank you very much for your attention. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.